Embracing generative AI can be risky, but it doesn't have to be a shot in the dark. In this video, I will show you the top five strategies to mitigate risk while embracing generative AI at your company. Hi there, I'm Kevin Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. In our previous video, we shared with you the top nine risks people take when they use generative AI, and in this one, I will share with you the top five strategies that you can put in place to mitigate generative AI risk at your company. By the way, I have some bonus for you in the description, a checklist with these top nine risks and the mitigation plan so you can apply it in your company. Okay, so let's start with the strategy number one, which is communication and alignment. Most misunderstandings in real life come from insufficient and ambiguous communication. It is very common that our customers do not want to release the AI tools because they are not 100% accurate. So instead of being transparent with the end user and telling them they are interacting with the AI, they expect to hide it and make the user tolerate such errors. Or even worse, they expect the AI to be perfect. The issue is that by definition, by the way we build AI systems, they are built to fail. They are built to be accurate, but also to fail sometimes. So communicate properly with your stakeholders, with your customers, and tell them what they can expect from this process, from this solution, make them aware that what they can expect and that it can fail sometimes. So you have to work a lot on the marketing side of your product so your customers are aware of what they can expect from the AI. The second strategy is putting some data validation layer at the input. And this is very important if you are dealing with sensitive data and you don't want to leak it. You have to classify each data point according to reliability and access level. Make sure you only place data in the hands of people with proper access to that kind of data. Make sure you are only using reliable data in your training and prompts. If you want to build great data sets to avoid improper data reaching your customers, click on the link below, we have a great building great data sets course. Strategy number three is adding an output validation layer. So let's say that you're expecting a yes, no answer, or you're expecting a number, or you're expecting an answer within a predefined format. Add a validation layer that handles the cases where the large language model didn't comply with your structure, can detect it, and most importantly, build a recovery plan when this happens. So a backup plan, what are you going to do in these cases? This validation layer doesn't have to be a software tool. It can be a human. And most people ignore this. As long as the technology is not mature enough, I will recommend you to put a human validation layer, a human in the loop that is assessing these answers and they are approving it or rejecting them. Also, equip the humans with a fallback process procedure to handle these cases when the AI fails. And before we move to the two final strategies, I have a special request for you. If you have gained some value from these videos, remember to like and subscribe. Strategy number four is to strengthen your output compliance. So ground the AI, the generative AI, on factual knowledge. Mainly, I will say, from your standard operating procedures or context about your company, so it's promoted to answer with that information you are providing in instead of doing a guesswork. This will mitigate the hallucination problem from AI models, and also it will prevent biases and ethical concerns. Ultimately, put a human in the loop, and I cannot enforce this more. While the technology is not mature enough, put a human validating the outputs and approving or not uh, this process. Once you gain confidence, you can remove this human, but don't rush too much into removing it. Finally, strategy number five, stay agile. Do not invest massive resources on training custom LLMs and custom large language, so custom generative AI tools in-house. Instead, work on wrapper solutions that allow you to exchange quickly one provider from the other in case you find a better solution or a better alternative. If I have to narrow down this video to one single strategy, that will be don't go for a full automation yet. Work on a semi-automation where you put a human in the loop to validate the outcomes. Since the technology is very mature yet, don't expect miracles. Play it safe and let a human make the ultimate decision until you can trust the system. If you need to go with a full automation, make sure you communicate properly about the usage of these generative AI tools to all your stakeholders, ultimately with the end user, so they know what to expect. Now you tell me, Kelvin, I want to embrace AI, but I'm not sure if I'm exposed to a certain risk or how to mitigate it exactly on our case. If that's your scenario, just click on the link on the description, contact us, and I will help you embrace generative AI with success. Also, remember to like and subscribe. See you on the next video. See you soon.